I am here in Chicago, Illinois, in front of the International Museum of Surgical Science. Probably not the first thing you would think of in the list of things to do while visiting Chicago. This museum is cool because it has a plethora of medical documents and surgical equipments and medical equipments, the history and artifacts of Eastern and Western medicine, and it's got skeletons. I mean, I've, I've heard so much about this place and I'm super excited to check it out and bring you guys along with me. Let's go nerd out <laughs> at the International Museum of Surgical Science. Tell me why you keep is amazing just take a look at this this is the room of wound healing look at these and then look at all this equipment right here look at all of the different tools that we've used throughout the ages that is what some people might call a peg leg an artificial leg from 19 43. An artificial hand dated 1900 to 1920. Made out of um, leather. This is, um, I mean, that's amazing. This is just so fascinating. Just seeing how much science has developed and how quickly and all the advancements that we've made in medicine. It's just, it's all in one room. Look at this. This museum isn't just artifacts and old-timey stuff. We also have interesting art, all inspired by medicine. Look at this chair, but oh, wait, you can't see it. Okay, wait, hold on. It's a chair from the dentist's office. This is where you sit, where they do your root canals. Well, I don't know. I don't know exactly what they were doing on this chair, but nonetheless, that's a dentist chair, but check out this chair right here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a wheelchair. 1780, 1780. This museum is inside of a mansion that was originally designed to resemble one of the properties that are at Versailles. Suffice to say, it is a pretty big building. There are four stories and I've started my trek through the museum on the fourth floor. I like going to the top and then just going to the bottom and then just leaving the museum. That's how I do things. So I started at the fourth floor and we're gonna go to the third. Now we're gonna go, now we're gonna, you get it. Oh wow, look at this. This is a picture of the bedroom, which is the room that we are in right now. Check it out. That's what it looked like as a bedroom. That's so cool. By the way, I don't recommend that you come to this museum if you are squeamish and uncomfortable with blood or anything like that. Surgery in ancient Rome? You have to be kidding. and their contribution to medicine. And now I am in a room that is about Japan and their contribution to medicine.
floor. It's literally to do the second and the first floor. <sighs> we didn't speed things up. in this library are wrapped in white tissue because this is an acid-free tissue which protects the books from deterioration by wrapping these books up in these tissues they're able to preserve one of the most unique collections of medical documents in North America. is it for this video. This museum is much too big for all of the details and the little things that you find to be able to make a proper video about it. I hope that you enjoyed the small taste of this museum that I just gave you with this video. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up to let me know. And a huge thanks to the International Museum of Surgical Science for making this possible and having me here at the museum. I had an awesome time. This is so cool. I'm just nerding out. I keep going back and forth into the different rooms because it's there's so many things. It's easy to miss like one time tiny little thing. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to me. I am at Red Romina everywhere and I make videos every single week. So you don't want to miss out on all this goodness. But for now, I'm going to go. So I will see you when I see you. Bye. This video was made possible by my patrons over at patreon.com slash redromina. If you like what I do, become a patron and be a part of the exploration.